What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little while and uh, I've had this box sitting here for a little like couple months and I'm sorry Michael, <laughs> this is the guy that actually did these for me and today guys as you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail these are the export style mirrors that we're going to be doing on this car. Um, it's been a long time coming and <clears throat> if you guys are in the Mustang game which if you're watching this video you pretty much are uh, you guys know those export mirrors are very attractive and they look awesome on these cars But y'all know me. I will splurge some sometimes on some go fast parts But on exterior parts, I'm not too fond on spending six seven hundred dollars on you know Just stuff that's gonna make the car look better um, Especially when it comes to the mirrors. Let's face it guys if y'all have export mirrors y'all paid six seven hundred eight hundred dollars um, especially for the SN 95s because you guys know the Terminator mirrors, they don't look good on these cars because they have that lip that the new Edge has, obviously, because it's different than the SN95. So, you guys gotta pay export, and those things, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars I've seen. Let's face it, if you guys are gonna talk shit on these mirrors, you guys have never folded those mirrors in once in your life. So, you bought those mirrors just for the look, and we're gonna show you guys today. My boy Michael has something brewing. You guys are going to be able to order late May, and these things look freaking awesome. So, let's go ahead and show you what these masterpieces look like. So guys, as you guys can see, see, this is my paint code. I don't care to show anything. But this is the platinum white pearl. This isn't the uh, crystal white paint. This is a pearl paint. And this guy can actually do any color that you guys want. Got some stuff stuck on there. But as you guys can see, this is just a painted mirror, and this is platinum, platinum white. Put some light on it so you guys can see. This isn't your normal. And you guys can see there is some imperfections right here, but that's not his fault. Uh, that's because this is actually a used mirror that he got just because I wanted the mirrors already. We're gonna talk more about his program in a little bit, but you guys can see. There you go, you guys can see the pearl in it. But he's actually gonna be offering new mirrors because he's actually redoing this mirror for me because of that. Uh, he's a perfectionist like myself, but something like this really won't bother me, like a little scratch right there, some of the dimples in the paint. Uh, he's a perfectionist, so he wants to make sure you guys get the best. And uh, he is gonna be doing new mirrors now, no more used mirrors. And uh, yeah, they look freaking awesome, guys. You guys can see the freaking reflection right there. So uh, let's get them both unwrapped and on the car. Alright, and as you guys can see, these are my old mirrors. They are completely painted. Let's actually get this one. They are completely painted. You guys can see they are very similar in paint job. But these are black. And they're gonna match the tires, the hood, everything like that. And they're gonna have that Termi style look to them. And uh, yeah, we painted these all white when I got the car painted. They look pretty good. Uh, there's some paint chips in them. I'll show you on this side. Paint chip, big ass paint chip right here. A couple imperfection things, but this car has been, they've been on the car since the car was a daily driver. It's not anymore. That's why I told Michael, you know, I wasn't really tripping on the small imperfections because let's face it, this car is not a uh, show car. As you guys can tell from the hood, uh, it does need to be real clear coated. It is real carbon fiber. I get to ask so many, so many times. You guys don't understand. This shit's annoying already. But yeah. Not a show car, it's gonna do for what it's gonna do. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look like turning mirrors, it's gonna look like export mirrors, but for half the price. So let's get them put on. Alright guys, and to get the mirror off, you guys when you have the tweeters, take this cover off, it just pops off. Uh, the tweeter is going to be on the door like this. Uh, there's one seven millimeter right here. Tweeter hangs down. You don't gotta disconnect them or anything. Then there's three 12 millimeter bolts and the mirror should come off. Alright guys, for some reason. I thought there was going to be a plug right here, or a plug over here, it's all the way inside the door card, so 
It's not gonna be as easy as I thought, but we're gonna have to remove the door card. I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. All right guys, so you guys are gonna have to remove the door panel. Uh, it wasn't as hard as I thought. There's just uh, two, one screw, two screws holding the, where's the window switch? This window switch in. Um, this door card, this door handle was the hardest one to get off. There's one clip right here, another clip over here, and one over here. So just make sure you guys don't break that. Um, and the door handle. Now most of these are broken, mine isn't. Still intact, someone glued that. <laughs> but yeah, that's it guys. And this is the one we're looking for right here. That's the one that goes into the mirror. Let's get this off, put the new mirror in. Yeah guys, now that you have your new mirror in, now's a good time to zap those bolts on. That way you don't have to mess with it later when this thing's all on. So this thing just goes behind it like this. And there's a little hole for the zip tie part like that. And it goes around it behind the tweeter right there. And that's it. Gotta tell you guys, a little bit more work than I was thinking. But you guys can tell already it matches so well with the black and the black. The cowl just flows right into it. And it looks legit like a turning mirror, bro. Even from the back. You guys can see because it's masked off real nice. Man, that looks good. Let's get the other side on and I will meet you outside in the sunlight. See these mirrors hit. See what they look like. Should have known, guys. You should know this stuff's going to happen whether you like it or not. Literally just broke mine off. You guys can see. Clean ass cut, broke it off. So, probably gonna need more of these. If you guys know, you know, these ones are kind of messed up already. You guys can see all the scratches and stuff on them. I was gonna do them carbon, but might be time for new ones, anyways. 26 year old car, this is what happens. Alright, guys, this one's on too. Looks damn good. I don't have any, any uh, regrets at all. Only thing that sucks is the handle thing did break off, so it doesn't look like it's sticking out now. But when I pull on it, kind of want to pop out a little bit. But you guys can tell these things have been through some damage; they're all scratched up. This makes the door card look ugly. So I'll probably be replacing those anyways. It's almost, you know, it's been time. It's the stupidest design by Ford, but uh, let's go get these out in the sunlight and let's show you what they look like. guys here we are back at the OG spot and the car is looking damn good right before I put the cover on the last time I drove it I did put some uh, coverall on the tires man that thing looks good those wheels with that custom center cap emblem looks damn good I don't care what y'all say man these cheap wheels look badass and uh, the mirrors they turned out great Turned out really good. Uh, they give the car a nice, nice touch. Uh, I really like the way they look, bouncing off the black in all aspects. But the only thing I hate that I was worried about, guys, I knew it was gonna happen. You guys remember I told you how loose this was? I'm driving around on the road and the thing is just going crazy. So <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna, if I'm gonna have to switch that out or tell Michael or something, but that thing's bothering me. <laughs> and it's not even the mirror that's messed up. So he's gonna be sending me a new passenger. That's the type of guy Michael is. I didn't tell him he needs to, but he's doing it for me anyways. Alright guys, I'm coming to y'all. I'm editing this video right now. And I know I was talking about the driver's side mirror being a little shaky and the passenger mirror being messed up. I actually told Michael about it and he's doing me brand new mirrors, um, repainting them all. And that's because he was already working on a passenger mirror because the passenger mirror scratched up like I, so I showed y'all. But Michael's actually bought me brand new mirrors. He's painting them out, sending them to me, you know, and I don't have to pay a dime extra. Uh, so if you guys were worried about that, like, man, these guys' mirrors are messed up or, you know, worried about uh, stuff like that. 
he's making it right and i trust him to get all your orders out right so that's the reason why i'm making this video so continue watching um so yeah michael i appreciate it they look great they look awesome on the car and if you guys are looking for a little bit of spice to your s95 car new edge car you could do both uh, i definitely recommend these mirrors way better than paying 600 dollars in my opinion or you know up to eight eight hundred those termi guys are selling those things like crazy um so i guarantee you if you guys have the foldable mirrors you guys will never you know fold those mirrors in your life so these are definitely a great option they look awesome they match my freaking paint code well i wish you guys were seeing through my glasses but see if this works put a little polarizer on the lens <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, you, you wear glasses in this thing, especially polarized lenses, and you could just see how hard this metallic and pearl hits in the sun. And this thing, these mirrors, they just look, they, they, ma they match perfectly, man. It looks like you painted them at a paint booth. And these mirrors are gonna be $300, guys, and the shipping is gonna be 25, 30 bucks, depending on where you are. Uh, just contact Michael, man. It's the, the best way to hit him up is through Instagram. I will have his Instagram posted up right here. Um, the best way to hit, uh, contact him is hit him up on Instagram and uh, like I said guys he's gonna have these he's going to have these mirrors for you guys ready right right around during May and he does like a whole roll of them like if 10 of you guys order you guys will be on one order he'll put you in a GM uh, show, show you guys all y'all's mirrors being done the process and everything like that it's freaking rad man it's it's I really I really like his business if you guys haven't already uh, go check out my patreon guys we have uh, a couple patreons in there and there's different tiers uh, the biggest tier you guys get early access to the videos days before early hours ahead um, you know one-on-one -on -one chats with me and the other guys inside the patreon and it helps out the channel a ton so if you guys want to be you know a part of that a part of helping this channel grow being one of the day one supporters I will really appreciate that guys uh, the links are all in the description we have tons of content coming guys I know I've been slacking uh, these past couple of weeks but we are about to turn it back up guys I have a full suspension for the rear end and some struts up front how about doing I'll be doing a whole video on that I know I said I was gonna get someone else to do it but why not it's gonna you know further my knowledge in this mechanic stuff uh, give you guys some good content run into whatever problems I have I will let you guys know uh, so get ready guys full drag suspension coming in got some things from UPR and strange that we're gonna be putting in the car it's gonna be freaking rad man it's gonna the best 60 foot we have with this car is a 1.7 and we're shooting for a 1.4 1.5 maybe a 1.3 if I could get a good you know launch with this car brand new slicks and uh, this car is gonna be a monster on the track man we're shooting for low 11s high 10s if we have to turn it up for a 200 shot we might do it for a glory pass but with that being said guys it's your boy 4.6 Chris see you guys on the next one peace out I am girl in my dreams I said I know it in my dreams I said I know it in my dreams I said I know that I can so baby please don't let me blow it begging please don't let me blow it you can't do this but I know that I can